So this is like a junkyard axle starter pack. We're gonna use this axle to convert that axle to a 31 spline on the budget. Junkyard Explorer. Stay tuned. So we have actively in the past couple weeks been trying to build a budget 31 spline axle here on the channel. They don't really make any junkyard axles that will fit a Fox body four link axle, but it's gonna require us to salvage a Explorer axle and most of its parts internally to get that to work. So I'm gonna show you what we need to make it work. A couple ideas I have for both drum and disc as we get ready to gut this axle and maybe just maybe we might accomplish what we're looking for. So when trying to use the Explorer axle in the Fox body four link axle, let me show you what the problem is. Number one, you can see that the Explorer one side's axle is longer than the other. And I just so happen to have an extra axle here. And it sits right at 30 and looks like like five eighths. Also the problem with using Explorer axles in a Fox body is it'll fit there, but when you get to the race, it don't work. It's just too big down here. So the axle is too long and the race is too big. So there's two things that need to happen. One, we have to chop saw the axle to make it fit. And number two, we got to grind the race down. I got another idea as well that might work, but I can't really do anything until I get this axle apart. Hopefully by the end of the video, we'll have all the parts we need to have the gears, have the diff to convert the end or C-clip, have the flange. There's some modifications we got to do like welding up in a brace thing and the axle is ready to convert this thing into a strong 750 horsepower budget junkyard axle. But like I said, by the end of the video, we'll have everything laid out for us or we can lead into the next video of installing and fabricating everything. But first, got a little bit of work to do here. I saved like a hundred bucks on the axle because I didn't take the rotors and the calipers with it. I need to pull it myself, sure, but. So I'm not really worried about the rusty parts right now, both on rear disc and drum. I got a couple ideas, but we got to get there first. So we were actually able to free up the diff because of the rusty ass calipers and rotors. Most of the stuff that we care about is internally, and this stuff's in really good shape. I mean, it's got some wear on it here and there, but this is 31 spline. This is like 35% stronger than stock. And you can see right on the gear, 373. So our next move, since we got the axle free, it's a little 516 set screw for the pin here. Almost, I almost stripped it. But you get these in kits, like your rebuild kits. See what I mean? It's a factory pin. Probably just put that back in. Looks pretty good shape. See, now I can pull the pin and pull the C-clips. The Explorer pin, the 31 spline pin's quite a bit thicker than the uh, 28 spline for the uh, Fox body. But I might have to machine that down, so. Okay, so now that I got the pin out and the mid pin, whatever, I can actually expose these little C-clips. They're pretty simple. They just come out like that. And then the axle slides right out. Pretty easy. Not a problem. And you can see how much of the splines, when we cut this axle down, I'm not super worried about it. You can see how much of the splines don't actually engage the differential. Now, this is the shorter axle, which would be perfect for like a mini tub. You know what I mean? That would be pretty cool. So now we're at the point to where we can get these main caps off for this. So that'll be passenger. And that'll be driver. You can tell when a good, when you got about eight or 10 thou, that's about what that sounds like. You've been, if you've done gears enough, you almost know what backlash sounds like. Good old Ford 373, look at that. So now that we got our diff, we'll set that off to the side over here. Just get this pinion and flange off and we're gonna end up chopping the ends. <clears throat> I knew that was gonna fall out, so. Didn't wanna chip any of the gears. Oh, there'll be plenty to weld too. So that wasn't all too bad. It took a little bit of work, you know, a couple chop saws, a couple hammers and random tools, but we got most of the axle to where we don't need 
the junk. So we're gonna clean up our mess, go throw it over in the scrap pile and get the stuff laid out that makes sense. So this is like a junkyard axle starter pack. We're gonna use this axle to convert that axle to a 31 spline on the budget. So we got everything set up here. I'm just gonna make it all make sense real quick. We're gonna start from the top. The reason why we gutted an Explorer axle is you can't direct fit that into a Fox body, right? This is a four link axle. Got it all apart, checked all the parts. They all look pretty good U shape. Now you can put these little things in, these little bushing kits here in the top. These are cheap at the parts store, you know, 10 bucks, 20 bucks. Or you could do the sphericals like we do. Those are a little more expensive, a couple hundred bucks. You can swap out a flange. If you're gonna order a drive shaft, go ahead and just swap this flange out. This is the heavier duty flange for the 1350 joint. And then you can put this on the end of your new drive shaft with the bigger U joint. You can just keep it factory Fox body. It'll work just fine. Measure this crush sleeve or a solid crush sleeve. You can buy those with shims which is what we're gonna do here on the channel. Or you can buy a rebuild kit and start pressing all your bearings in and set the tolerances and the pinion depth. Either way, not the wrong answer. Moving on to the diff, you can go ahead and take this ring off and clean all these gears. You're gonna to wanna to take this diff apart and actually rebuild the clutch packs inside. You wanna get super budget with it? Just put it in and send it. Should probably buy a new carbon fiber pack kit. It's like a hundred bucks. Soak the clutches, stack them correctly. We did that video here on the channel. You have yourself a, a strong 31 spline, something you ain't got to worry about. Before you get it into installing too, too much, you want to go ahead and grind these tubes down. And there's a couple of reinforcements brackets that I'm always talking about here on the channel. You're going to want to tack weld these, wet, uh, these tubes up. TMZ Motorsports actually makes the exact bracket for the reinforcement of the bottom. And here's the uh, actual part number. And while you're welding the tubes, you can go ahead and weld this brace on to brace the axle. This kind of goes right here and it has a couple of the gussets nice little piece we've actually made that brace here on the channel where it just went from this tube to here to here and we welded the tubes up <clears throat> so that always worked for us too that's a budget way of doing it you can get that in like an inch and a quarter chrome molly and bend it yourself since this is already a 31 spline differential and these are 373 gears you're already ahead of the game i only spent 100 bucks on the axle at the junkyard and it's gonna go well right into our Fox body axle. At this point, we got the bushings, we got it braced up and welded. We got the pinion on. You can put the diff in at that point. Here's where it's gonna get a little tricky. They don't make a direct replacement OE31 spline axle that actually goes in a Fox body four link. Most of the time you find guys actually buying the axles, buying the C-clip eliminators, and buying the rebuild kits just to fit them, which is fine. There's nothing wrong with that. You know, buying a new diff is like 600 for a good one. And the axles are probably another 300. And then you're looking at studs and C-clip eliminators and rebuild kits. And there's stuff you can do on the budget and save some money. This is one of the Explorer axles. It'll go into the tube, but here in the end, it's just too long. So here's what I plan on doing. I plan on cutting this axle down to 29 and a quarter which is the exact size of a Fox body axle. And at the same time, when it's chopped at the machine shop, they can turn this race down about 50 thou. Now I ordered a C-clip eliminator that was the larger of the two that fit the Fox body four bolt flange here. And then we can just fit this just like you would with a normal axle and have a C-clip eliminator. It's gonna go into your differential, voila, your setup. Drum brakes, you don't have to do discs just right now. Another option I was talking about was actually cutting and welding this four bolt flange from an Explorer onto the Fox body end, much like you would a nine inch end. And you say at this point, well, why don't you just buy nine inch ends? Well, that's because they cost a couple hundred bucks. And then you gotta buy nine inch ends axles, which are another five or $600. You guys get what I'm saying here. We're trying to do this on the budget. We're trying to do this as, uh, as cheap as we can and make it work. It's 31 spline. It'll handle every bit of 750, 800 horsepower. Could cater to a lot of people, especially in the 8.8 .8 Fox body genre. Plus it's always something that I wanted to do is to try to fabricate an axle junkyard wise on the budget. But since we would have the Explorer end on, the Explorer axle would go just on just like that onto its normal race. See that? We can install the Explorer brackets, calipers and rotors. If we, if we cut the ends, we could make the ends a little bit longer. I could actually modify this axle to where it's kind of like an SN95 width. Uh, you know, I definitely love the, the SN95 like width look. It's got a little bit of a wider stance than a normal Fox body drum brake. So stick around. We got a lot going on here. We're gonna actually modify this one for the black car because it's a rear drum. So we're gonna do the C-clip eliminator and the machine work. And then we're also gonna build a axle later and do the same thing again and we're gonna do the rear disc 
from the Explorer and see how well that works. So guys, we're just trying to do things here on the channel. We did the 387. There's no reason why we can't do the 8.8 on the budget junkyard build and bring it here to the channel. I'm gonna try to give you guys all the dimensions and all the, the ideas and stuff that I got from this. So in the next video, you're gonna see us starting to assemble this junkyard 8.8 31 spline axle. If you guys enjoy this sort of content, leave me a comment below, let me know what you guys think. Check that join button for membership. Check out the t-shirts we got on neomuslings.com. I appreciate everybody who supports the channel. We will see you soon in the next video where we'll be assembling us a junkyard axle. See you soon.